Hi and welcome to Craftacy. Today we're going to take a look at computer craft again. I'm here with Pokers. Hello. And um, from now on we're going to start uploading twice a week on this channel. Yes. And so for Monday we got uh, Oskar and me. Uh, we're going to do computer craft tutorials. And on Friday we have Luke and uh, Matthijs and they are... Uh, uh, it's still a surprise what they're going to do. Yes. So be sure to, to be stay. honest, we don't know either, but that's okay. <laughs> uh, okay, so today we're going to take a look at um, using computers as a daylight sensor. Yes, that's right. Okay, so um, you already saw what it did, and let's show you how it's done. Yes, so you can see we have on this nice balcony on our water house some nice lights in the... Uh, in the ceiling and some nice lights in the water right there beautiful so letters upstairs we have um, our computer system and it's actually pretty simple it's just a computer right here and um, some redstone wire going over these lights activating them um, when the redstone is activated and this is uh, a wireless redstone <coughs> um, transmitter which sends the signal to um, a redstone receiver uh, in the water, and I can't see it from here, but that's okay. Oh, it sent, yeah, it basically it just sends a red no redstone signal uh, to a receiver, which is set up where you want it. Exactly, so it, it actually uh, takes away the hassle of um, making gigantic uh, redstone wire networks. Yes. So let's uh, take a look at the computer here. Um, we have a program called Light System, which looks like this. It's only a few lines of code, and uh, this is Lua coding, by the way. And um, we'll put the code in the description as well, so you can take a look at it yourself. Yeah, and feel free to pause at any minute to, uh, to copy the text to your computer. Yeah, exactly. So, um, basically we have a while true do loop here which means that the program will repeat itself constantly so um, at any time it will take a look at the uh, time and see if there's any daylight and then um, act on that so we have an if statement here if os dot time which is the current time in a 24 hour system if that's bigger than 18.5 or smaller then uh, five then the lights will go on so that's during the night yeah so 18.5 in this case is uh, 30 past six in the evening and five is uh, five o'clock in the morning exactly so then um, during the night it will send a redstone signal to the right output um, and that's a true signal and if um, that time statement is not the case so else it will not send out a signal, so the lights will go off. And then finally this uh, sleep thing here, it will make um, the program wait five seconds every time. So um, it, it's not constantly checking the time, but um, it takes five second breaks. So it, it's not constantly calculating. No, because if it is, it will really lag your server or your Minecraft. Yeah. So the sleep function is really recommended here. Yeah, you could actually set it to a higher or or lower value if you want, but five, it works fine. Sure. So um, you can run the program simply by using light system. And um, right now it's, it's daylight, so the lights are off. But um, let's go downstairs and take a look at it again. So as you can see, the sun is setting and it's getting dark and the lights uh, should switch on automatically again. Ah, there we go. Perfect timing. So now our balcony is beautiful, beautifully lit in a nice moody, not, not very brightish light. Now I'd say the only thing missing is some fireworks. So this was our daylight sensor using computer craft. We hope you enjoyed it, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.